Today in this session, we are going to build IoT based indoor air quality monitoring system using BME680 environmental sensor and Node MCU development board. The BME680 is an environmental digital sensor that can measure gas, pressure, humidity, temperature, altitude, and using some mathematical calculation, we can derive dew point. So in today's guide, you will learn to interface the sensor with ESP8266 node MCU board and program the board using Arduino IDE to monitor its parameters on Blink application. This sensor can communicate with the microcontrollers using I2C or SPI communication protocols. So by the end of this session, you will be able to interface the sensor with node MCU and design the Blink application dashboard to remotely monitor the sensor data from anywhere in the world using a smartphone. So without doing any delay, let's get into this. So here are the components required for making this project. You will need Node MCU ESP8266 dual E board, BME680 environmental sensor, few jumper cables, and breadboard. BME680 is an environmental sensor that has capabilities to measure the BOCS gas, pressure, humidity, temperature, and even altitude. The gas sensor used on this sensor can detect the wide range of gases such as volatile organic compounds. So it can be used to control the indoor quality of the air. The following table shows you the accuracy and operation range of the temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude and gas sensor of BME680 environmental sensor. This BME680 includes MOX metal oxide sensor which detects volatile organic compounds in the air. The MOX sensor is made up of sensitive layer of metal oxide surface and it detects the volatile compound by absorbing oxygen molecules in its sensitive layer. Basically when the sensor is exposed to the gases, the oxygen molecule reacts and increases the conductivity across the surface and the BME680 sensor provides resistance value as a raw signal and this value changes because there is difference in the volatile compound concentration. As you know the lower the resistance means a high concentration of BOCS and high resistance means the low concentration of the BOCS. This BME680 environmental sensor can communicate using both I2C and SPI communication protocols. So in this IoT based indoor air quality monitoring system, we will learn the wiring for both I2C and SPI communication protocol. So here is the schematic diagram to wire the BME680 sensor with Node MCU using the default I2C pins. And alternatively, you can use the SPI communication protocol. In that case, the following communication table will help you to wire the BME680 sensor with Node MCU using the default SPI pins. As you can see, I have assembled the circuit on the breadboard. Now let's configure the Blink application for BME680 for IAQ monitoring system. So I have done many projects related to the IoT using the Blink application and similarly you need a Blink application. You can download it from the Play Store or App Store. It's available for both Android and iOS. First of all, open the Blink application. Click on the create new project and enter the name of your project. For example, I am entering indoor air quality and instead you can type any name. Click on the choice tool and select the node MCU board. And make sure you have selected the connection type as Wi-Fi. Finally, click on the create button. A verification token will be sent to your email ID which will be used in the program code. Click on the plus icon on the screen and search for gadgets. Add 
two causes for temperature and humidity. Now search for the value display widget and add two of them to your main screen. Again search for the gadget and add it to the main dashboard. Now search for the text display, add the widget to the dashboard and similarly search for the value display widget and add it to the main screen. Now you can configure the each widget by looking at the video as shown here. Now the application for IoT indoor air quality monitoring system is ready to use. Now let's prepare the Arduino IDE for BME680 environmental sensor. We are going to program the ESP8266 node MCU board using Arduino IDE. So make sure you have the ESP8266 add-on installed. Basically to compile this program we will need few libraries. We need to install the Adafruit BME 680 library and Adafruit Unified Sensor library. And lastly, you need to install the Blink library. So, install all of the library file from the link provided in the description of this video. Now, here we will initialize the BME 680 sensor. Here we have defined the different variables for storing the sensor data like temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude, dew point and gas. Here you need to replace the following field with your blink authentication token and Wi-Fi network credential. This code will connect your device to the blink cloud and then initialize the BME680 environmental sensor. In the word setup part, we will get the reading from the BME680 sensor and we will do some ca calculation and send those readings to the Blink IoT cloud through the virtual pin as defined here. In a loop, blink.run and timer.run function is initiated. We will also do some mathematical calculation for deriving dew point using temperature and humidity values. You can copy this program code from our website and the link will be provided in the description of this video. Now compile the code and upload it to your node MCU board by selecting the correct board and correct board. Now you can open the Blink app to see the real time data on your smartphone. To do that you need to run the freshly configured Blink app. Now you will get access to the cloud server with the latest BME680 sensor reading. You can access the data from any network on your smartphone from anywhere in the world. And the readings are updated every second and you can customize it according to your requirements. That's all for this video. I hope this project is helpful for monitoring our home environment wirelessly. And if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. It's me Elson signing off for today. See you soon on the next one.